Hey, what's up, Todd here? Let's talk about some free stuff. So our friends over at Rocket Stock just put out a free pack of 15 animated lower thirds for Premiere. And if you don't know what a lower third is, you actually just saw one right there. Want to see it again? That's a lower third. They show the viewer who is talking and why they have a reason to be talking. Now, up until recently, to make an animated lower third, you needed to go into After Effects or some other motion graphics software and create an animated lower third. Well, now Adobe has added a great feature called the Essential Graphics Panel, and with this feature, you can actually use animated lower thirds natively in Premiere. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use those lower thirds and how to customize them the way that you like them. Let's jump right into it. And for full disclosure, I did personally myself create these lower thirds, so if you don't like the way they look, kinda hurts my feelings a little bit. But for those of you that are feeling industrious, I did include the project file for After Effects that I used to create these lower thirds, so you can feel free to hop in there, change the fonts, do whatever you want to them, go nuts. So when you download this freebie, you'll see something kind of like this. You'll have a fonts folder and the lower thirds folder. And so first what you want to do is go ahead and hop into the fonts folder and make sure that you install all of the necessary fonts. And so once you go into the lower thirds folder, you're going to see 15 different .mogrt files. And in this folder, you're also going to find the After Effects project file that I mentioned before, and you can open that right up. And in here, you'll see all of the different animations that I created. And like I said, if you want to change out fonts or do anything like that, feel free to do so. But unfortunately, if you edit in Final Cut or one of the other editing software other than Premiere, you're not going to be able to use these templates. So if you still want to get some use out of these lower thirds, feel free to open up the project file and use them that way. Okay, so here we are in Premiere. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up to Window and we're going to open up the Essential Graphics Panel. Now, the Essential Graphics Panel is a really nice feature that was added pretty recently to Premiere. And what it kind of does is it bridges the gap between After Effects and Premiere in a really interesting way. So here we have this panel and we, we can just grab it right here and we'll move it off to the side. And down here you'll see you have this slider where you can actually zoom in and get a better look at these templates. So the way that you would install these templates is down here, there's this little plus button and you're gonna click on that and that's going to bring up this little install dialog. And it's kind of annoying, but you can't select multiple. You can only select one at a time. So you're gonna have to just install all 15 one at a time. Now, all of these templates are some level of customizable. So you'll be able to change maybe the color or the certain sizes of things, but they all animate in ways that you wouldn't normally be able to do in Premiere without these templates. So let me show you how this works. So we have this, you know, kind of corporate looking shot, like an interview shot, like maybe something for like a corporate video you're doing. And so we're gonna find a lower third that would work really well for a video like that. And in my opinion, this kind of lower third right here is going to look really nice for a corporate video. So it'll take a second to kind of load up and here we go. Now we have an animated lower third natively in Premiere. That's a pretty huge thing. So obviously her name wouldn't be Stephen McMurray. So let's go ahead and change her name. So let's just say she is Jessica Stevens. When you select your lower third element in the essential graphics panel, you're going to get this little edit tab. And with the edit tab, that's where you can make all of your changes. So we have this field for name text. We have this field for subtext and we have all these different parameters that we can change. And another note is every single one of these lower third templates has a master scale function. So you can scale this up and it'll scale up losslessly and it won't ever pixelate because you're scaling up the actual element. So if you were to try to scale these things up by going say to the effect controls tab and using the scale over here, it would eventually start pixelating and it would look really bad. So we're gonna scale this back down here. And so she's Jessica Stevens and she will be the founder and CEO of whatever this fake company is. Now, each one of these designs is a little different in how they function, but this one, we have this text field length parameter. And what that's gonna do is it's just gonna make it where we can you know, accommodate longer or shorter names, and that's going to also affect the animation that leads up to that. So it's all kind of connected and dynamic, and it all should work pretty fluently uh, and easily in, in Premiere. So we also have all of these different color options. So we can 
you know, change, let's say, let's change from that orange to like a nice bright yellow. And let's say one of their other company colors is a dark kind of ambery orange like that. And then let's say maybe this one could be, let's just go for like an even, you know, like a darker kind of orange, something like that. It's kind of a, not, the, not the best color scheme, but you, you get the idea. So now we have this, this lower third animates on and it has the colors of our brand that we need to accommodate. And you can also, right here, we have this checkbox for subtext on off. So you can turn that off if you don't want to have the little you know, subtext below the, the name. So each of these lower thirds has different options and different parameters. I just tried to make them as functional for the purpose that I thought that they might be used for. So here I made this as kind of a corporate lower third. So to render now, you now we get this red bar. That's because it's an animated graphic. So obviously you're gonna need to render that out. So I'm gonna hit command R and wait a moment. And now we have a nice animated lower third that we've customized to the branding of our corporate client that we're working with. So let's say right after she talks in the same video, this guy talks. And so we need to copy that same lower third and all those same colors and have kind of the same look, but we need to change the name and some of the information. That's really easy. All you got to do is select your lower third element, hold down the alt key and we'll drag. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna copy all of those parameters, but you can still come in here and change it. So he's he's uh, James Wallace, and he's gonna be the co-founder. And so there you go. Now, his name is where it needs to be, but she is still Jessica Stevens. So in the past, when you use these kind of dynamic link templates, if you change one, it would change them all. So now you can have the same element multiple times and change the information out, but retain all the same colors without having to change it every single time. It's really cool. So here we go. We have this guy. He's a professional snowboarder, I guess. And he's taking pictures of uh, the sun or the sky or something. Not, not too sure what he's interested in there. But here we can go back to our browse tab on the essential graphics panel and let's find something that looks appropriate. And another thing to note is I put a one at the beginning of all of these different lower third names so that they would shoot up to the top of the library. So you don't have to scroll through all of these stock Adobe presets. These would just be up at the top. So you can feel free to rename those if you don't want them up at the top, but that's just how I did it so that they would be quickly accessible. So for this guy, I like this one. This is kind of like, I called it extreme. To me, it just kind of felt like something for like extreme sports. And so here we go. Now we've got Jeff Townsend, professional snowboarder. So let's say we wanted to change some of these colors. Let's go into the, let's click on the lower third here. And again, we have the essential graphics panel where we, we can make all kinds of different changes. So let's just say that we, his name was shorter. We have this parameter we can change to be a shorter. And then we have the bottom box, which we can move around and change to be shorter or longer as well. And then we have top color and bottom color and also text color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the text color to white. Let's go with a nice bold red like that. And here we can also change the bottom box color, but I'm gonna have them be the same. I just like the way that that looks. And boom, just like that, you got a nice animated lower third. And so the essential graphics panel is a really great feature that Adobe's added. And if you wanna make your own MOGRT template files for Premiere using After Effects, watch this video right here. Jason Boone's gonna teach you how to do it. He did a really great video about it for us. And it's a really fun and easy process. And you can just really quickly make a whole kind of library of lower thirds. Uh, but feel free to get started with this free pack that we made. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you get a lot of good use out of it. And uh, as always, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one.